Okay, welcome everybody. I'm doing yet another video on how to use VirtualBox. This time I'll be using the latest version of VirtualBox as of the day, which would be version 402 R69518. And more or less, I'm actually using this version. I'm pretty much making this video because as of version 4, Sun decided to actually change the way that Windows or what the Windows operating system version of the, sorry, VirtualBox actually works with bridge connections because originally you actually had to go through programs sorry, you had to go through your control panel and actually change your network settings where you actually would go in here and then of course that <coughs> sorry your network status and everything else and then have to change your network adapter settings now the old way you actually would have to choose VirtualBox and whatever connection you're using and then bridge connections well this only works in Windows 7 and possibly Vista as well so Sun actually changed this up or it did work but not too cleanly and I can tell you from experience so now they made it simpler but didn't really explain how to do it but here's how you do it of course you go to your preferences when you first install VirtualBox and make sure you have a host only Ethernet adapter created Keep this part unchecked and make sure you just have this as your default. And if you ran into problems with your network connection after updating VirtualBox, unfortunately, guys, you will have to uninstall all the drivers that they created for you. So uninstall the virtual drive, sorry, virtual network cards from your machine cleanly, and then uninstall VirtualBox. So what you would have to do is, of course, go to preferences network again and then of course remove the card then uninstall VirtualBox and reinstall VirtualBox and of course the network card will be created from scratch so without further ado I'll show you guys what you need to do now so you have VirtualBox installed you have your guest operating system installed so now you will pick the guest operating system sorry guest OS you want to use in this case I'm using Linux 11.10 or the version that came out October of 2000 actually sorry that came out of November 2010 so now I go to settings for that then I go down to network of course make sure this is checked to say enable network adapter as opposed to choosing host only make sure I have bridge adapter choose the card I want to use and this time I'm actually using my wireless connection so I'll choose that and then of course go to advanced for what type of network card you want to emulate change your micro adjustment if necessary and then make sure that this is checked and then of course you make a change you hit okay for most of you hit OK but since I already had a chance to save it on the machine I'll just cancel out of here so I'll go ahead and start it up hit OK And it probably is giving an error message because I'm actually using the internal microphone on here, but it shouldn't make any difference because I'm not going to do any button voice record in VirtualBox itself. So let's wait for this thing to load up. Type in my password. Okay, now I should test my connection, so I'll go to accessories within Ubuntu, then terminal, type in if config, and I actually do have an IP address which is ending with 106. Now in Windows, I go to accessories to see the IP address in my Windows box, and I go to command prompt and type in IP config. So the Windows IP address actually ends with 103 for that wireless card, and this one ends with 106, meaning that you actually I actually do see two different IP addresses. So now I'll go ahead and start up Apache on here, and I actually install LAMP via XAMP because that's the quickest and easiest and slightly laziest way to install Apache on any machine. Start up. 
And of course, like any other program, if you're on Linux, you need to switch to a super user. So if this was Fedora or SUSE, I'll type in SU. Then, of course, the root password here. Since it's Ubuntu and everything's already pretty much admin almost. Just type in the code, sorry, type in sudo, and then, of course, it prompt me for my username and password. So here, you guys type in sudo space, the command you actually want to use, and then, of course, type in your password. So now that started, I'll go into Firefox and test it out. Go ahead and type in localhost. As you guys can see, I'm actually already set up. Check out the CD collection I have on here. And obviously, for people that know me, there are only two CDs I actually have. <clears throat> But without further ado, I'll then see if I can get to this on my Windows machine. Wait a minute. Actually, one more thing. Can I actually get to the internet? Very good question. So I'll check to see if I can get to the most important website for most people. And yay, we can get to Facebook. All right. Back to the Windows machine, type in that same IP address, I, sorry, having the same IP address from here. So open up right quick again. So the IP address is that 192.168.0106. And yep, we have a connection. All right, and I'll show you guys this is the Windows machine. Of course, you'll see Windows NT. Oh, sorry, six point one. Okay. Now go back to CD collection. I'm gonna ask the note. So And of course, this is really very good music when you're working out. So, so I pick this stuff. Okay, so that shows up here. Now back to VirtualBox. See if it shows up there. Okay, I can close this now that I have my connection established. Even though here it tells you everything's activating and running. So now the CD collect see if the change I made in Windows show up on Linux. And yep, the change I made on a client now shows up on the server. So let's say I want to get rid of the sickness. It's removed on this side. Now go to the Windows machine. And it's removed here too now. So in that that basically shows you guys everything you need to know. For those of you who are actually taking my class right now, so if you have any questions, Please feel free to ask me next time we're in class or if there's somebody that's on YouTube seeing this, just send me a note and I'll answer as quickly as possible. Everybody, good night and enjoy.